I'm using a filter because I look so gross right now. And I'm sick, so I just wanted to put up something really quick and easy. So I had this, like, saved on my phone from when I attempted to make mini deviled quail eggs. I hope you enjoy cooking with Tia. I just realized it kind of looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. Get your mind out the gutter. Oh, God, where'd my filter go? Step one, half fresh quail eggs. Step two, bring pot of water to a boil. Not yet. I used a mini pot for effect. It's more like it. Now boil these suckers for two to three minutes. Look at them cook. Probably have too much water. Not that that's like an actual thing. Look at them boil. For the mash, you will need salt, pepper, mayo, mustard, and vinegar. A little bowl and a little spoon to mix up the mash and then like a serving tray. Yeah. Okay, time's up. Now we're gonna drain these little guys and run them under some cold water. Now we're gonna peel these little babies. That was a lot more difficult than I thought, and also you're gonna need some paprika if you want it to top it off with. But yes, time to dry off these little babies. Definitely requires a very gentle touch. Apparently gentler than I have. So we're gonna dry them off and cut them in half. They are, you can see, I could have cooked them for a little bit longer, but this was my first time ever boiling baby eggs like this, so they're kind of soft boiled, but oh well, it'll still taste yummy once we add all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop all that stuff out, put this little spoon into my little ramkin. Okay, so this part definitely requires a gentle hand, you can see I kind of ripped that one and that one, but they're all kind of cleaned out. Definitely having them hard boiled would make it a lot easier to scoop out the yolks because they were kind of sticky because they're just kind of soft boiled so now i'm going to add all of these ingredients and mix it up there's my deviled quail egg mixture definitely didn't have a ratio just kind of went off based on when i do with larger eggs and too much mustard but the paprika should help it out get in that's where this little tiny spoon comes in handy and oh my gosh i'm gonna try to get this on camera mm. There's one, two, yay, and there they are. I almost thought I was gonna have like a lot of extra like filling left over, but I didn't. So now let's carefully put this paprika on. This is actually gonna be the harder part. And ta-da, here they are. My little mini deviled eggs, made out of quail eggs from my aunt. Tina, I have a new appreciation for when she brings these to family get-togethers because oh my god, so much work for such little things. Mm, I can't wait to eat them. 